Hola, mis queridos. ¿Cómo estás, mi amor, Alicia? Hello, my kittens. How are you? My name's Allison, and today we are playing Nancy Drew Mobile Mysteries Ghost of Thornton Hall. Ah. Sorry, I was trying to have some brain food before recording, and then I realized what time it was, and I had to hurry. <laughs> I am a bit of an on a time crunch just because I have been a bit of a procrastinator this week, and... Well, I've been a bit of a procrastinator all month. I'm ashamed of myself, really. You don't want to see my apartment. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm betting what the you're wondering what the difference is between the mobile mysteries and the PC Mac version, uh, Mac edition, and. Uh, I guess the only way to describe it is that the Mobile Mysteries has a couple of things that the Bonus Edition normally has for the PC Mac Edition, and that is the phone charms and the mini games on Nancy's cell phone, and that's about it. <laughs> of course. I mean, with every Nia Cedar game with the, that has the bonus edition, there's normally a couple of other things that's with the bonus edition just to go with the theme of whatever uh, the subject is or what or the location of where the case is centralized on, of course. Uh, in this case, though, uh, since this is just a mobile a mobile game. We're just focusing. It just has the bon the basic bonus edition parts, which is the which, as I said, is the f phone charms and the mini games on Nancy's cell phone. So I do want to mention that <laughs> this mobile game requires iOS 7 or later, and you do get an hour's worth of free gameplay. But after that, you do have to pay a certain amount, which is 5.99. Uh, and in my opinion, that's a pretty affordable price, because uh, normally the most mobile games are like, well, I should say most mobile games are free, but as far as like pricing goes for mobile for, for mobile apps, like the app when it comes to actual games, when it comes popular games on on mobile devices, it's usually over ten dollars. Which is a lot more than pricey than usual. <laughs> I I'm quite familiar of my of like Minecraft and a couple of other games on mobile devices. Those are like fifteen to like twenty dollars. It is insane. <laughs> so fortunately, uh, the Nancy this specific Nancy game is uh, mobile game. Sorry, is compatible with iPad, which is how I'm able to record it. In fact, if you're actually wondering on how to record this specific mobile mystery game, I am actually using Zoom, surprisingly enough. <laughs> you can do a screen share and then use the uh, I iPhone, iPad uh, uh, option of the screen sharing that it shows, of the list that it shows on the screen sharing. And then you have to choose this, the mirroring button on your mobile device. It's a little difficult to find, but you should be able to find it. Uh, I, I mean, it did, definitely took like a few, it definitely took me a minute, but I figured it out. So, it shouldn't be too hard. Anyway, <laughs> I do want to mention that Her Interactive bases all of, the, all of their games except one off the Nancy Drew book series. The one game is Secret, or sorry, Sea of Darkness, and that Sea of Darkness is actually an original, as far as I know. I keep forgetting to do research on that. And to let you all know, Ghost of Thornton Hall is based off of <laughs> Uncivil Axe, off the Nancy Drew Girl Detective Binding. And the reason why I say Binding is because <laughs> Simon & Schuster, and also the original company, Gross & Dunlap, they actually like to reset the series, the book series, every so often, which means they actually get to change the, the 
the cover arts as well as the color of the binding as well uh, not just to do like grammars and punctuation updates but also do to do like revi revise revise Re revisions jeez why am i stuttering as well as uh just creating new stories revamping the series a little bit just to like bring in new readers as well as to keep the current readers their current fan base attached to the series of course with every new reset they have to make sure that there's like an, a, a new subtitle under the nancy drew name for the series just to let everyone know that it is not canon to the original series or to the previous uh, reset that they did. Because <sighs> seriously, people get so confused on uh, Nancy Drew's life for those who are trying to figure out like the whole mystery of her life as well as her mom. Because as far as I know, her mom died when she was really young uh, due to some sort of accident and no one really knows. She doesn't really know what happened. Um, of course, according to the TV show, <laughs> gosh dang it, I'm not saying it. Anyway, um, I will talk more about Uncivil Acts at the end of the video, that is, if there is enough time. I am already talking enough as it is. <laughs> and there, there actually is a way to get a copy of the book yourself, and I will also talk about that at the end of the video. I really do want to bring that up. I do want to mention, though, that this... This video, this series of Ghost of Thorn Hall is not sponsored, in case you are wondering, but I do have the okay from her and Tractor to play their games on my channel. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think this is like the second to last game I'm playing on my channel. I'm still hesitant to play Midnight in Salem just because of what happened with my previous computer. <laughs> uh, but I will try to find a, I will try to uh, get, buy it again uh, from Steam and see if it will still play I I'm just I'm so freaking hesitant just because even though it's on Steam I'm still freaking out of whether the same thing will happen and that will that it will kill my computer <laughs> so anyway uh, I believe uh, I talked about everything that I'm able to there is one thing that I do want to note but I will only bring that up if anything happens during the video I do want to mention the mobile version this mobile mysteries of Ghost of Thornhall there's plenty of crashes plenty of glitches her interactive did not think of everything when they made this game for mobile for mobile devices <laughs> of course also the last thing I want to mention is if anything anything in this video does not look familiar please 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 look uh, check the description box down below there is a previous video as well as the playlist. I recommend the playlist because it will have everything that I've done so far with Nancy Drew, Mobile Mysteries, Ghost of Thornhall, and let's go ahead and get into it. Of course, I keep forgetting to mention that with the extras, you are able to open an awards hall. We've already had an Easter egg. The thing at the bottom is charmed that's connected to the phone charms, and the volume is connected to all three whereas on the uh, PC and Mac edition you're able to change the volume on all three whereas with mobile it's just one volume considering <laughs> all right let's continue I would tell you the what happens when you hit new game but I'd have to reset the entire game and I don't want to do that all right so let's actually ask open the task uh, list real quick Getting organized. The task list tracks your ob objectives. To mark a task done, tap on the checkbox. Tapping the question mark gives you a hint for that task. The journal keeps notes of observations relevant to the case. Yes, indeedy. And I actually really like that because once you hit the, once you hit it, and I will show you in a second. Still ha haven't. Can't check that. Still have to do that. Yes, I'm aware. Can't check. Still ha haven't. Can't check that off yet. Check. And see, it went all the way down to the bottom. I actually really like that's that about done. this feature. Can't check. Haven't done that. Haven't. Can't check. That's done. Haven't done that. All right. So, we managed to get a few things done in the previous video, which was nice. And I actually want to call... Ooh. 
This picture is actually a reference to one of the previous Nancy Drew games, Deadly Device. That is Ryan's motorcycle, if I'm correct. And it looks like we have four phone charms. Let's call Bess. Bess's phone. All right. That was a really Bonus, quiet call. Ned. What are you two up to? George is in New York. So, she got the internship with that Technology of Tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. <laughs> Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. I'm sorry, but I have to agree with George giving an angry no. Because seriously, her cousin George is a freaking woman! Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry, I just had to say that. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why is that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. Oh, come on, Ned. You're why. just like Nancy. You're not Even superstitious. I have to admit, it does have a certain abyss gazes also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Really? Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters so good at stacking things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so I love the, bored I love best. since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. Oh, thanks, you two. Yeah, if you're not familiar with Stockholm Syndrome, it is where <laughs> the victim uh, is not necessarily falling in love, but it's where the victim uh, becomes relatable or just becomes uh, on the on their uh, not kin I guess it would be kidnapper uh, on their kidnapper side of things they understand them and want to be with them more rather than with the with their family or with their friends who they were with beforehand so in fact I think I've actually written a couple of books about that um about the main character I met Jessalyn's fiance Colton going through that. where's he fall on the cute to guilty spectrum that's Best. not a valid spectrum like fun it isn't oh is this because Ned is on the line no I'm not calling off the dogs you're just going to have to find a way to tell me that balances the public's need to know with Ned's presumably fragile ego my ego is perfectly fine is that so? I was just about to say that. Nickerson men laugh in the face of insecurity. That's I, so, I Ned. doubt that. A test. Nancy, describe Colton's looks using the International Ned Cuteness Unit. We talking half a Ned? Two Neds? Honestly, Nancy wouldn't want to do that, but, um, to be honest, I mean, I'm not a big fan of- I'm not a big fan of Colton. One-tenth of a Ned. That's very nice of you, Nancy. But no need to spare my feelings. Good. We're not sparing your feelings. I'm, like not, I'm not a big fan of Colton. Way better Colton. looking than you. Let's refocus. Right. Ticking clock, kidnapping, etc. How guilty does he seem? For consistency, please state your answers in Ned units. Oh my gosh. Couldn't tell you yet. He doesn't seem as worried as I'd expect, but maybe he's the type to internalize his feelings. So that's a thing you can do. Oh my gosh. He is statistically favored when it comes to crimes like this. Try to get him talking about the relationship. I studied that in preschool. How would you study that in preschool? Oh my gosh, then. <laughs> I met Harper. What's she like? She might be completely crazy. Either that or she wants me to think that's the case. So, who is she? She's a Thornton, all right, but that's pretty much all I know. She seems to be hiding from everyone. Hiding? For the moment. You met a weirdo who 
has an obvious affinity for ghost kidnappings. During the course of your investigation of a ghost kidnapping? And you didn't tell anyone? Ned, say something to uncrazy your girlfriend. Don't be that way? <laughs> Not compelling, Ned. Should I say it like you would? If that's what it takes. Oh boy. Nancy, your newfound buddy ship with that baddie basement dweller is freaking me out. I have trained you well. Now go, Nancy. Tattle like the wind. All right. I think you may have a point. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, the relationship between Ned and Bess is like freaking on point. <laughs> By the way, if you're actually wondering about the little um, yellow bars on the side, that is actually the fast combo feature that actually <laughs> skips the dialogue of either Nancy or the person she's talking to, whether uh, whether they are in mid-sentence, mid-word, whatever, it skips their dialogue. So you can either skip the story if you want, or if you're just trying to speed run through it, speed run through the game and don't want to listen to the story or anything like that. Of course, that is your option. You don't... Uh, you don't have to do it. I want to catch you up on the case. So it's a missing persons case, right? Do you think she's actually missing? I don't know. I've heard of runaway brides, but I don't think that's the case. If it's a missing persons case, why aren't the police taking care of it? Well, they are, but since she's an adult, there's only so much they can do. Ned was telling me about the ghosts out there. Do you think maybe they're related? Actually, I believe in this ghost. Ned, do I have permission to do a spit take in your living room? No. I'm doing it anyway. Say that again. Please don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down, Bess. The Nickersons are a tidy people. Yep. I wasn't really gonna do it, guys. Unless someone made me laugh. And this is that super red soda that's still on the market even though it's been linked to distractibility in 9 out of 10 Besses. Back to you. Are you finally oh trading in your Skeptics Club card? And miss the dinner that probably won't happen this year? <laughs> no way. People here believe in the ghost. I think if I don't take the ghost story at least a little seriously, I might miss something. Well, yeah. Well, I hope so. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna choose this one and then after that we're gonna end the conversation. I know there's a whole lot to tell them just because I have not called them at all in this series, so. Someone keeps sending me notes. Someone has a crush on Nancy. <laughs> Let's hope not. I think they're related to finding Jessalyn. Right. That also makes sense. If someone is sending you notes, that might be great news. Could mean someone wants you to find Jessalyn. Unless it's a trap. Sorry, sorry. I know you asked me to stop saying that. This time you might be right, but I still... Have to follow the clues. We know. Like how you know that we're gonna say... Be careful. Bring me back something awesome? Which was a joke, because I totally was gonna say the other thing. Yeah. By the way, I forgot to unmute. I said be careful at the same time as Nancy. I'd better get going. See ya. Okay. I would call Addison, but I really want to make some progress on the task list. So, let's check this letter. A flower is a joy when it thrives. A burden when death arrives. Gather your dried petals where immortality resides. Place a flower where she stands before the stone turns to dust. She will tell you what she can away and back to earn her trust. Interesting. Okay. So... I am going to the cellar because... She's... Okay, so Harper is still gone. Spin me right round, baby, right round! <laughs> Okay, so while exploring, you will enter areas where you can turn around 360 degrees. These areas will be indicated by the uh, arrows at the top of the screen. To move around these areas, simply swipe your finger left or right to turn your view. And I'm trying to do that. 
Um, I want to go over here. Okay, that wasn't the area I was looking for. Whoa! Alright, and that brings up the topic. <laughs> that was a hallucination, everyone. And hopefully the game won't crash, because mobile games are not supposed to have flickerings like this. <laughs> when they do, the the app will... the your mobile device will automatically think, oh, this is not supposed to be happening with the app. This is not supposed to be happening with the game that you're currently playing. I need to get, get this out of here. So it will force crash your game, your app, and you'll have to, I mean, you'll still be able to get back into the game, but, oy. But the reason why this, uh, this, I should say, um, and Nancy's pers and Nancy and the Thornton family's perspective, this would be called a haunting. But considering what I know now, it is a hallucination, and that is because of the cellar. This this furnace right here, it is producing gas. Specifically, carbon monoxide. <laughs> and there is such a thing as carbon monoxide poisoning. Please, please, please do not take carbon monoxide poisoning lightly. If ever you experience any of the symptoms, call the proper authorities. Do not wait a moment longer. So, there are, there is a long list of symptoms to, car to the poisoning. Of course, do not... If you do have any of these symptoms, do not think it's actually carbon monoxide poisoning. Please go to a doctor or even the hospital, um, uh, an emergency hospital, just to find out whether it is or not. But the symptoms to carbon, mo carbon monoxide poisoning are dull headache, weakness, dizziness, nausea or vo and or vomiting, shortness of breath, confusion, blurred, vis blurred vision, loss of consciousness, chest pain, fainting, hyperactivity, impaired judgment, shock, low blood pressure, and rapid and or abnormal heartbeat. So as far as we know, Nancy has already gone through impaired judgment. Uh, she's already gone through, I suppose, low blood pressure. She's already gone through confusion, um, dizziness. She's already getting he headaches. And, um, from what we know from talking to Ned and Bess, she's getting fatigue, which is not a good thing either. So, I think fatigue might be a part of dizziness, in my opinion. Or it could be part of loss of consciousness or fainting or anything like that. She did she did like pass out when she went to her sleeping bag up on the second floor so just like I said just don't take it lightly we are trying to is it over here no There is... Oh, now I remember where it is. It is over here. I think there's more to this hole that we need to dig. Just because we still haven't been able to... Unless, oh. Hmm. No. Well, 
What is this? We never did look at this closely since uh, Wade gave it to us. Please, please, please never let this fall into the wrong hands. If you find this and do not know what it is, please, I'm begging you to put it back and hide it well. If you know who I am, then this will help you understand what I did. Arrange the colored pairs. Orange and blue numbers along the sides indicate how many of that color are in the corresponding row or column. This is important. Two squares with the same color can't be directly next to each other. Use the XX to mark pairs you know certain you know contain neither color. This will lead you to what I've hidden. Interesting. Ethel's grave. Yeah, so this is what we're supposed to find. Uh, the thing in the top left corner. And I'm having a feeling that's this box here, but it looks like we're missing a key. Let's look at the camera. Because we did go through these photos real quick, but I didn't give it a good look. And it looks like we're already out of time, so I'm just going to look through these pictures real quick. It looks like there's a pathway past that little post that we found early in the game. Hello, Herium. I don't know why she took a picture of that. A casket? What the heck? Yeah, we already found that mound. We're already aware of that. Oh! Okay. Alright, so... Now that we know that, I am actually going to go... We could have found a way. Oh. I should listen. Lexi. I know you still care about me. Shoot, this is going to put us in a conversation with Cole. Over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. Hey. Did you listen in on my call? Who well, is couldn't Lexi? help it because we were just about to walk out. The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? I think she is someone important Dude. to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiance is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi. You want a conversation? Fine. I Nancy, love Lexi. Really? I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. was based on a lie. Sorry. Clara. I need to hurry parents, with this. Even Jessalyn. They were all in on it. Jessalyn? Are you sure? She'd have to be. I mean, I haven't considered that she might not be yet. Before Jess and I got together, I was with Lexi. Until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then... I smell a gone. fish. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away, and Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune, and Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? To try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. Alright, I really do want to get to this, but... I, we're basically out of time. Get going. Later. Okay, so, um, uh, actually, you know what? Let's just stop there. I just, just, oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, uh, you can get a free copy of the book of Uncivil Acts. I will put a link on how to access that in the description box below. Unfortunately, I am seriously out of time and I'm going to be late. So, what is going to be happening in less than a minute? So, well, actually, not really less than a minute. Sometimes it takes them a while to start, but hey. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope I helped you out in this video. If not, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> and I ho ho hope you enjoy this video as much as I did. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel and you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that ugly, ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray. As well as that bell icon right next to it that will notify you of all the videos that I do. Which are on <laughs> Wednesdays 6pm Central and Sundays 4.30pm Central. I hope you... I, I hope you...
disgusting. It. I am. S I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Dress with the Rapids, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Oi! Oh. oh, I did not mute during that outro, did I? Whoopsies.